Hey, how you guys doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live here exclusively on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you get access to more updates and news 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we are now looking at the overall markets. And wow, what a crazy market we are having right now, up and down and all the way around. You can join our community and ecosystem at richtv.io. Join our community and learn how to win big in stocks, cryptocurrencies, and NFTs. We are deeply rooted in all three industries right now and digging deeper for opportunities every single day. Now, let's talk about the news. Lots of big news today, and the markets were heavily sold, read everywhere, and we're anticipating that that will probably lead into tomorrow with lots of big news and a lot of earnings that have been coming out. So... Stocks set for a lower open today. The stocks did open lower today. And the Dow Jones closed 228 points down uh, on July 26th. So the NASDAQ, 220 points down as well. And the TSX, 131 points down. So Canada and the United States across the board down. And Bitcoin also, we're going to look at the Bitcoin chart and Ethereum back down under 21K and Ethereum below 1400 Walmart WMT Walmart sinks after cutting outlook not good numbers for Walmart and they are dragging down the market today Microsoft Google earnings after market and I can tell you right off the bat that Microsoft and Google didn't have amazing earnings today but they especially Google is doing well after earnings despite the fact they had a small little miss so we're going to be watching how that affects the market tomorrow. But right now, after market, Google is actually up after reporting a small little miss on earnings, essentially meaning that we are finding a bottom for a lot of these stocks. And Microsoft also reporting kind of similar numbers. So uh, we'll watch how they produce and how they trade tomorrow. Now, Visa, UPS, Coca-Cola, McDonald's, CMG, GM, GE also report. So... We're going to look at all of those numbers and see how it affects the market. But right now, looking at all the numbers, they're pretty choppy across the board. Nothing spectacular, that's for sure, and a lot of misses. So doesn't look like the numbers are going to be really great for tomorrow going into the big Fed decision. And Fed begins the FOMC policy meeting. So stay tuned. We'll give you updates on how that looks. Upcoming events to keep your eye on for July 27th. So... Core durable goods orders month over month coming out. That's going to have a medium impact on the market. Durable goods orders month over month. Also going to have a medium impact on the market. FOMC statement was what we've been waiting for. While the Fed talks, this will have a very high impact on the news. So trade very carefully for tomorrow. And the federal funds rate, Fed most likely hiking the rate again. So this will have a high impact on the market. We're expecting a 0.75 rate hike and basis point hike, maybe as much as one full percent tomorrow. So we believe that that will most likely have a drag on the market. That's why we believe we see this drag on the market, uh, mainly due to companies not really reporting strong. And how can you report strong when we're clearly in a recession? So uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we've been watching Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we just had a nice little run on Bitcoin up to 24,200 in the last month. Just over the last week or so, we've seen this huge move on Bitcoin hitting the high of the month at 24,000. And really just a few weeks before that, hitting a low of 18,000. So a lot of volatility for Bitcoin. And you can see they're just sitting right now just under 21,000 at 20,997 here on Weeble. And if we take a look at Ethereum, ETH, so this is pretty bearish for uh, Bitcoin, clearly. And I say the same thing for Ethereum. You can see it went up to these higher levels, and now they're starting to come back down. They both look extremely bearish. You can see breaking down these zones that they went up on, and now it is starting to come back down. So tread lightly with Ethereum. Always remember that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we love to bring you the news, the analysis, CEO interviews, and we'd love to bring it to you first. 
If you have any questions, please put it in the description of the video. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're live, Bitcoin and Ethereum looking very bullish right now. Tread with caution. The entire markets are red. Tread with caution. We do expect to see a 0.75, maybe as much as one full point races, uh, point of interest being increased tomorrow in the Fed in the United States. We believe that that's going to have a negative effect on the market. We expect this to be very bearish for the market. We expect to see a red day for the market tomorrow. But you know what? We've been very volatile. Stranger things can happen. Weird things can happen. So we'll see exactly how the market performs tomorrow. But it was a red day overall today on July 26th. We expect it to be very volatile. And we're expecting a red day tomorrow. Love to know what you guys think. Stay tuned. Is your host with the most. And remember, if you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring in the analysis. We bring in the CEO interviews. For stocks, cryptocurrencies, and NFTs, we're doing it for real estate too. And we'll bring it to you first. I'm always.